it is going to be a horrified world. I said in the next five to six months across India, uh, many people will not able to pay their EMI or the education loan they are taking because your EMI is five years. Most people will not survive for five years. With old knowledge, a uh, modern problem will not be solved. Hello everyone. Today we have with us in conversation Mr. Shubhabroto. Thank you. He is the founder and CEO of the Digital Fellow, uh, sir, from Team Macron and the MBA family. We would like to welcome you. Thank you so much. So hope we'll have a great time on the campus. I sure do, sir. <laughs> As a budding marketer, I, I know how much you want to know. When did you get into marketing? When did you get into marketing? Marketing is your passion. Discovery happened, I think, uh, like everyone, I was also confused. I also didn't know. Uh, MBA in, in during our time was not a great thing to uh, do or MBA was not so famous or not so popular, I will say the right word. So most of them were engineers, you know, doctors, other profession. MBA was not regarded as one of the most primary marketers, uh, you know, uh, popular jobs. Sales was quite thing, important. So I discovered marketing when uh, I realized that I am not good in sales. I don't. I hate accounting. So my dad wanted me to do a chartered accountant. I submitted a blank paper to make sure I generally don't. I don't pass. All those things happen. And then the, I was left with no other option. I wanted to be a filmmaker. And I wanted to because from very early age I used to shoot photography. I used to do a lot of. Uh, during those times, there's not much of video. But there are a lot of photographs, such to do a lot of portraits. So human faces, human characters, human behavior excites me. So I was more into a portrait photographer. So obviously I wanted to be a photo journalist. And so so that's a linear, that's a organic way you can grow. And that's the close thing is that I started as to uh, you know watch lots of movies. So I realized that okay, let me go to a school. Either I get into a design school, which is an IT National School of Design, because by birth I'm a painter. So that is only one way. That's only skill I have. Second skill skill is that since I have a eye for photography and all this stuff, which will help me to become a photo journalist or filmmaker. These are only two I have. So never thought of marketing as a as a career. So gradually I went to Jamia Mila for doing mass communication. NID I tried, failed all the places. So after failing with all the things which you are sure of, then you give up. So I gave up and I was quite frustrated. I didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to again borrow money from my MBA, uh, from my dad. Uh, so, and it was I was all the way around 22, 23 at that time. So I could figure out, let me go and uh, do something. I don't know what I want to discover because at that time most of my friends got placed. Most of my friends were doing for their first job. Most of them were getting settling down. I was not the one, you know, no job, nothing in hand. So then I figured out, okay, let me do one thing before doing an MBA and before committing two years. I let me do a smaller MBA version, which is a micro marketing management course, a diploma course I did uh, in, during my full time in St. Xavier's College. And so I thought, okay, let me figure out. This is a, this, because I saw the topic, the subjects, almost almost very quite similar to an MBA. So I figured out, okay, let me do this. So I went and during the class, I discovered I have a fascination, knack and love for anything around marketing. Operation management was something was not uh, very fond of. Uh, analytics those days was not there. So so mostly marketing, oper research, uh, branding and marketing, I started uh, liking and had a great fascination. Then I this is how I discovered in initial days, uh, if this is what my career is, since I will never be a photographer and a cameraman or a pop journalist, this would be my fourth option. I think I will be able to make it and I think if this is I'm good at uh, because in the initial I think four or fifth class after the fifth class I was on the dais talking about branding and marketing and the students were here. Then I realized an uh, idiot like me you can reach this fast this place so fast so definitely I will be able to I will be able to make it. So that gave me a confidence that marketing is something naturally comes to me. I I enjoy doing it and I don't get fatigued. I don't get tired. I think if I if you do something what you love, then you never work for your life. So that was a starting point. So it was more of an exploration. Exploration, absolutely.
जब लास्ट टाइम कॉन्वर्सेशन आल्सो आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव अ सिमिलर थिंग आई कम फ्रॉम सिनेमा एंड थिएटर तो वहाँ भी थोड़ा है और ये एक्सप्लोरेशन वाला थिंग सर बी आर ऑल्सो आई गेस ऑल ऑफ आस नो बडी न्यू दैट वी आर बी मार्केट में इवन दो एम बी ए टूडे हैज बिकम अ थिंग वी स्टिल डोंट नो कि हमको यहाँ आना है तो लाइफ ब्रिंग्स एस हेयर एंड वी फैशन आई कैन से अच्छा सर वन थिंग दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू आस्क यू लाइक वी गेट इन्वॉल्व इन लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट गेट इन्वॉल्व इन टेन टाइम मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स दैन अस तो पता कैसे चलता है विच इज दैट प्रोजेक्ट विच विल हैव योर पैशन लाइक सम रीसेंट प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू डिड दैट हैज रियली बिल लाइक ये आई एम वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट आई विल डू दिस आई विल डेफिनेटली गेट इन टू इट ओके वॉट हैपन दैट सिंस यू इफ यू इफ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ अ मार्केटिंग ब्रांडिंग uh your job is more of solving a problem so it's not just branding it's how you can solve it so this actually gives you enough uh understanding gradually that you only start liking a difficult complex weird problem which come across to you because uh year after year it becomes easy to uh always win in the match but when you have a, on your on your home ground but when you are playing a different ground you don't know the pitch you don't know the bowler then as it it also excites you as a marketer the most important is that when how many time you challenge yourself if you are always safe in one zone that is better to do a job and be there and there's nothing wrong in it uh, but if you really want to go up learn you should put yourself into a difficult a uh, complex weird situation then you if you start maneuvering yourself out of it your confidence level goes up your intellect goes up your understanding comprehending uh, insight and how you how you can foresee a problem all these things which are more of a, a you know cerebral part that uh, evolves then you become a more marketer if you do that in a continuous level then it is easy to predict that this is a complex project let me try my hand if i fail it's okay but if i pass then i will able to take more complex so so that that uh, you know uh, excites you that that's it's an easy thing because marketing other pays mostly uh, most of the uh, problem which comes to us 60 70% are almost set uh, 30% are quite difficult only 10 to 15% are very very complex and when the project comes we actually or i actually don't have an answer so so when you're failing out at night when you are fighting with yourself when you are learning and trying to figure out how this you know you are looking at all possible uh, failure or if, if sometime a project comes which the project has already failed they have spent some 100 crore or whatever crore now they want to come up so which means there are 200 people who tried the entire company is on your shoulder you are the only torch bearer you are saving you are saving the company that comes that also kicks you that also give you huge amount of you know respect that i am the only one who was maneuvering this so you are not only solving a company's problem you are solving people's problem your family there your so many family are dependent on your on your skill so that it's like a surgeon you are actually doing a surgery but you know outside there are hundreds of people waiting if this surgery goes wrong many people's hope on you or the doctors will go down it's it's a it's a quite interesting and challenging it's also you get we get scared but uh, we don't give up because uh, to to survive this uh, uh, is not that you only need um, uh, guess it also need huge amount of respect and also accept that you know you don't know sometimes we bring lot of skill which we are not good at so it's not that you will able to solve everything maybe some part of your problem will be solved by someone else so it's a collaborative way of solving not single person will not able to make it all the time challenges so challenges yes, like, yes, yes, like yes, yes. and i believe all of us as as marketers when we're going ahead should not be afraid. i mean it's natural to be afraid yes but looking into those challenges fighting very inspiration so so same thing happens in the, in your career in initial career if you are picking up jobs if you are picking up roles based on non challenging reserve is challenging your life will change like because what happened very simple rule which i, I may uh, talk in detail uh, once you are above 35 you will not able to think much so what you know for the last uh, 25 30 years is what is going to uh, how you going to survive but 
is ai uh, suddenly uh, welcomed sometimes not welcomed by many marketers but some way it is challenging it is going to be much more difficult to survive with old knowledge uh, modern problem will not be solved that is what i wanted to tell you to uh, after this how did i am sure you don't have technical background no i'm not an engineer yeah so uske bawajood bhi being a marketer and i know that you're now moving into ai looking at it as a marketer how, how did that happen so i, I it's it's a organic uh, way of asking and accepting that i am not a technical person but i need to learn technology certain part of it i still remember uh, philip kotler's operation management page i don't remember is a graph which shows that if you are at a very senior level you may not know uh, you may not know the granular part of engineering but if you know basic how it works and if you know who can solve it it is good enough to uh, you know solve the problem like the way i was asking that before driving uh, before driving a car you don't do, you don't do your mechanical engineering to understand how the engine works but you should know what is accelerator what is a gear how to change gear that is good enough to maneuver on the on your career road rest of your life without an accident so any predictions based on everything you gathered about it uh it is going to be a horrified world i said in the next 5 to 6 months 5 to 6 months months we're not ready for it are we not not here 5 to 6 months a uh, huge amount of job loss will happen because the company very simple it is not the company hate the one to fire it's not the thing the shareholder will want to stay remain and make more profit so there will be a pressure from the shareholder to make profit and the shareholder will ask the company to use of automations so that they can remove many people the moment you remove people there are lot of less collision there less people less travel less cost less gratuity provident fund medical travel everything will go down which means with less people you can make more profit so it's not that company wants to do they they are forced to do this job to do this you know so i think today morning meta fired some 1000 uh, 10000 people so so these are going to happen it is not meta it can be manik chand also in kolkata it can be manik chand in guwahat is also also going to happen the bigger company will fire fast so most of you of you are fresh and base or looking for a bigger company will first get hit you should actually join a not great for company so that the company uh, uh, what happens in a bigger company cost cutting is fearless but in a middle ca- company impact is is more in top company people don't care because they don't know you they have only hired you and you are always a uh, uh, in a high cost but in the middle company they don't have so many people the middle company a middle level company i'm not it can be asim smes also small company it's 2000 to 3000 to 4000 crore turnover and they will able to afford you it's not that you have to take a pay cut or whatever they can afford you but the risk is going to be because in those company those are the company in india who are still not arrived they are still not into automation so there you because you will not get time to get yourself updated to survive in the future is the problem you will not get time so so you, the more mature ground you go you will get shot down but the more unmatured market you go you will able you will get some time to upgrade your skill because most of you will only have type chat gpt for 5 10 minutes and uh, that's it but you have never used it but what will happen if you go to a small company you may able to enhance uh, ai other software email marketing uh, you know auto- artificial intelligence other different software which i'm going to talk in the evening and then enhance and make their life so you will able to uh, harness well you will able to you know uh, uh, value add more compared to a bigger company which is already settled uh, it's like you if you want to be a small fish in a bigger pond uh, it is risky because you will get eaten up by shark because uh, a, but it is better to be a big fish in a small pond. you will get some time to breathe you will get less threat in a bigger company you get a threat so you will not able to i am saying this across india not you across india uh, many people will not able to pay their emi or the education loan they take because your emi is 5 years most people will not survive for 5 years sir i read somewhere that uh, 
as of now decision makers are safe because ai has not evolved into the space of making decisions do you think yes yes decision maker makers but to be a decision maker you need another 15 years to survive this is decision maker definitely is are, are are important there are many companies who don't still believe on on data they take a gut feeling it's right and wrong i'm not judging uh, but yes a decision maker are also will be questioned now because the board and everything because advent of digital marketing or advent of reels and advent of news people are so if now everybody is going to ask that why are you taking a decision based on a gut feeling we have been okay with you for the last 10 years and now why don't you try this out on digital and figure out what analytics is talk why are you not using it so that question the decision maker is also the equity and the worst part decision maker will not able to learn the way you will learn faster so they will also get shot down so any final pieces of advice for our audience with this horrific reality that uh, as i said in my last uh, uh, presentation it is better to be really want to safeguard uh because future is very very uncertain now every 6 month is going to be a big big shift uh with a 2 year old degree of mba you are not able to survive in 2024 very difficult so better you know what happens is that most of your college life or in my college life most people there you know there are 18 or 19 topics or subjects you have So you have fascination in one or two or three subjects which you're good at because you have a natural bent. So everybody, someone will be very good in operations, someone will be good in maths, someone will be good in analytics, someone will be good in branding. But now it's a time you cannot be good in one. You have to good in four or five so that you will able to maneuver because now the age is coming where there will be less marketing people in the team. So you have to do three, four people skill job. You will have juniors, but you will have to do. You have you need to know. you cannot have a, a marketing team where you have hundreds of people so marketing team is simple that's the biggest problem point if you only know marketing you will get shot down if you only know sales you will get shot down if you know a little bit of marketing a little bit of marketing a little bit of uh, content a little bit of designing a little bit of it you 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 will able to because now you need to survive for at least 2 years 2 years survival is going to be quite tough very very tough and the worst part by virtue of by luck if you get a job in a company and that company don't allow you to learn then you are definitely uh, uh, horrible situation would hit you more because you won't be able to grow because 9 to 5 year there 9 to 6 9 to 10 year there when you come on and doing all these courses now lot of educational course will come up uh, this course will not able to help you much because you need practical understand when your boss said to solve the problem you can go back to youtube and learn a problem and then come back because you will not get that time your boss is shouting or your your your, your company is asking for some prices to money so you can't open a book and then do a search not possible so you have to be ever learn there's only way out as you have rightly mentioned sir that you yourself say that you're still a student you still learn you can't leave the campus you if if you if you leave the campus you're out of you are suddenly you realize you are you're out of the circuit thank you so much thank you so, thank you so much for an enlightening <laughs> conversation i'm sure all of us had a lot of fun please tune in next time for now we would like to thank the tour the tour team thank you so much thank you so thank you everybody